My argument is this. We're really just battling one problem. America is a tale of two cities. One, the majority. One, the minority. The last three months exposed these parallel Americas. Tonight, you see the flames in Minneapolis. For too many in the minority, they illuminate an act of rebellion and catharsis, a show of force when for too long there's only been helplessness, a fight or flight reaction, as you heard, that comes after flying in fear and insecurity. They say they feel too often and in too many ways. Now, too many in the majority see lawless actions that offset any underlying act. I speak to the majority here, and I beg you to stop ignoring the pain and profound hurt that lies beneath what you see. Of course, these actions are against the law. Of course, they're not what we want to see. But we in the majority cannot allow ourselves to be corrupted by toxic talk about the correct way to express that pain. You can't simplify it to the point of a false equivalence that puts some insured buildings on equal footing with an apparently never ending pattern of dead, black, young men at the hands of those who are supposed to protect them. Tonight, we see a wrong after a wrong. And yes, two wrongs don't make a right. But if we don't address why we keep ending up here, we'll never make things right. It isn't the rebels lighting fires. It isn't the media exposing the reality. The problem is the reality. Just look at the last three months. Forget about policing. Look at the toll of the pandemic. More people of color are getting sick and dying. Why? Less access to care. More minorities are losing their jobs at a faster rate. Yet they make up the higher percentage of those at work right now in jobs deemed essential. Imagine how that feels. Helping more and being helped less. They stand a greater chance, minorities, of getting stopped for wearing and not wearing masks. Those government small business loans, they didn't go evenly to the majority and minority. Most went to the majority. In one America, people rage for the freedom to get a haircut and a tattoo. The other is raging just to be seen and heard. One America says they won't wear a mask because when they jog, it's uncomfortable, not necessary. It's an affront to their liberty. One has renewed fear that going for a jog could get you killed. One America insists their need for football is so sacrosanct it can be no kneeling protest on the sidelines. Sons of bitches. But is not outraged by a cop kneeling on this man's neck? Doesn't make it okay to riot, says the majority. But doesn't it depend why it's happening? A riot in Boston Harbor started the fight that amounted to America. Cities burned across the continent in 1968, again at Stonewall. In each of those cases, it was the minority manifesting a desperate plea to be heard and for change, just like now. A friend of mine, celebrated American and African-American, asked me in a broken voice, why doesn't America love us? Why do they do this to us? And he wasn't just talking about this latest case. He was talking about all of it. And by America, he meant me. He meant you, the white majority. And you can listen to those who put it on the minorities, violent, outrageous lazy, they hate the majority, they don't comply with the police, they are the tyrants, look what they're doing in the streets. You're judging symptoms and you're missing the illness and you know it. It was Nelson Mandela who said, when a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. And you know this is true. More poverty means more crime, means more interactions with police, means less avenues to dignity, to power, to change, for hope for respect of the law and for optimism that drives ambition to live the American dream. Please don't just see the death of George Floyd, see all of it. Yes, this one is on video. And yes, it's so obvious so that you can say, well, this one I get, it's not just this one. It's that the officers in it seem to be saying, we know it's wrong, 
and we're going to do it anyway. That's why the minority screams. Not just this video. It's the prosecutions that don't happen, the cases that aren't on video that you don't see, and the prosecutions that do happen of the wrong people, the punishments that are too harsh for the crimes minorities commit. It's the laws that make it harder to vote and easier to be out of a job. So you can listen to those who say, put it on the minority, they're the tyrants. But it's still going to be your problem. You know why? Only the majority can fix it. The minority doesn't have the power. My father joined a generation of leaders from and for the minority, calling out this tale of two cities to you, the majority. And here I am, his son, almost 40 years later, and we have yet to answer the call. A house divided cannot stand. United we stand, divided we fall. E pluribus unum, one out of many. We are all in it together. How many times must we try to teach the same lesson? The pandemic will pass. The case will fade into the others, but our real problems remain. They'll only go away when we finally realize that minority and majority must come together or America will never be her best. Hello, everyone. So that was a very heavy intro, um, I do admit. However, it was kind of necessary, especially with what's going on in the world, specifically in America. Um, I Before I actually start, I do want to apologize for not using this platform to really speak out about the issues and kind of educating as many people as I can. Um, during this time, I actually had a lot of mental issues and um, I actually had finals for school too as well. So I didn't really have time to film a video, but uh, do believe me when I say I was trying to spread awareness as often as I can on my Instagram and on my Twitter. And I think Twitter and Instagram are really good places right now to stay as educated as possible on these issues because it is constantly being updated, whereas on YouTube it does take a little bit for some people. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you didn't skip the video that I just put as my intro because um, it tells a lot of truths about America and America's biases and its um, inequality towards uh, people of color, specifically black uh, black Americans. And so um, I did want to kind of speak out on it and tell you guys more pressing issues than like my K-pop videos and stuff. And um, yeah. So I really do hope that that video kind of helped you guys to see why we need to use our voice and why we need, why it's so important to us for us to support um, blacks right now. And um, yeah, like this has been a pressing issue, like for the dawn of time, like literally the roots of America is based on racism and superiority complexes and power hungry people. And it's always been an issue in America. So um. I just wanted to kind of help shed more light on it because I know, especially with school, a lot of our education system is really biased towards um, the Christianity and white people. And so we don't really get to see the struggles of other African Americans and black people specifically. We don't get a lot to see a lot of struggles of black people. And so I thought that video was really helpful. So I encourage you guys to really take um, take action and use your voice. So like sign petitions, uh, email, text, call your government officials, um, donate, and educate people around you. So like tell your parents, tell your friends, tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell your dog, tell um, tell anyone that you can, no matter how um, no matter how uncomfortable it is because it's better to educate rather than not try at all because you can never know your impact on someone um especially when it comes to people that you care for it's really good to stay educated and educate the people around you and um yeah and also use your platform to really um speak out so no matter how big or small your platform is how much following you have every little thing matters and it's, i highly encourage you guys to do so and um so i'm i know taking the first step for doing something so i guess i don't want to say out of the norm because in reality police brutality and the injustices and mistreatment of blacks is very normalized in modern day society especially in america and so i know it's a lot harder to take the first step so i thought that i would make it very very easy for all of you 
in the description. I will leave um, a card that is constantly be updated. Um, ways to educate yourself without a bias of white and Christianity and like just educate yourself on the mistreatment of blacks without there being a bias of like oh but police help here and blah blah, blah and like police propaganda and etc. I will leave everything that I can. I will also leave threads that actually need more signatures for the petitions so we can try and so we can actually change something and um, I will leave donation like places to donate and who's not donating um, and who's not currently accepting donations. Um, I really do encourage that you donate to the bail funds because there are a lot of people who are trying to protest and speak their voice and exercise their rights to protest. However, because, you know, biases and police brutality and police inequality and everything of that sort, um, because of those, they are actually getting arrested and they're getting um, injured and all this stuff. Also, please do not donate to change.org. Change.org, unfortunately, does not um, really pitch the complete donation or the donation at all. I don't know the truth of it. I just know that truth.org is not truthful with how they donate. So I highly suggest that you donate to the cause rather than change.org. And yeah, so I will leave everything down below. Also, if you cannot donate, because I know it is a very rough time right now as we're in a pandemic and yeah, um, I will leave ways that you can actually help another person donate money through um, watching YouTube videos, watching all of the ads for every video, etc, etc. There's a lot of YouTubers right now who are doing their 100% of their proceeds are going to um, are going to donations. So yeah, so even if you can't donate, um, there are ways to help out other people donate. And all you have to do is really play it in the background. Like literally, you can play that on the background. You can pull out your phone and go on Twitter and just have that playing in the background. And yeah, so um, um, if you're not American, I will leave zip codes and ways that you can help. The card specifically does um, provide a lot of resources for you. I will try to find more cards and more information just so that it's a lot easier to educate yourself and use resources. So please, 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 please do check out my description. Um, and don't really turn away during this. I know I kind of spoke out and I'm speaking out towards the end of like the current movement since and unfortunately what had happened was that the movement occurred. Everyone was, you know, advocating, speaking out, using their voice, using their platform, petitioning and everything. And then it became normalized again where everyone went back to real life, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. If you are right now on social media tweeting and like doing stuff non-related to Black Lives Matter, it's not a bad thing. However, it is kind of like don't use, don't stop advocating and fighting for Black Lives. Um, as I like to say, all lives can't matter without Black Lives Mattering first because in reality, Black Lives are the ones who suffer the most, especially with our past and our deeply rooted racist, racist ass fucking beginnings and roots. So, um, I'm just saying you can go back to what you were doing every day. However, I do really encourage that you, um, use your time to still speak out for black lives. Keep petitioning even if you want to tweet about K-pop or like anything else. Keep fighting for their rights. Keep being active. Keep updating yourself on it. Keep just stay in touch, especially with Black Lives Matter, because it's not just like a few days and then it's like over. You know what I mean? Like this is a constant thing. This is something we really need to fight more often than it is. And we need to keep advocating. We need to keep fighting. We keep needing to use our voice. And yeah, so I really do hope that you guys don't turn away from it and that you keep fighting and you keep doing it. I know I'm still, um, I'm currently taking a break from Twitter, but I know on Instagram, I am still trying to help ways and how you can help, how important it is to help. I put the link in my description. So, um, and I put the link in my bio. So I actually, whenever I sign off for a trade or a sale, I literally put, please check out my bio and help out if you can. So Try your best, try your very best to stay updated and stay involved, especially with situations like this. And it's been going on for way too fucking long and something really needs to be done. I am 
I can't imagine the anxiety and the suffering and the frustration that black people have towards these, towards all of this racism and it's kind of like, you can't, I will never be able to understand it. I will forever want to fight for them because their rights are just as important and just as deserved as anyone else. Like, these are basic rights that black people not deserve per se be it they need like this is something that yeah like i please just stay updated stay educated stay anyways um so for more less important issues and more entertainment for today's um i'm so today i'm going to be putting away stuff in my binder i got a lot of stuff in the week or two weeks that i was off from youtube and twitter and Instagram and kind of focusing on my schools. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do a haul, but I will show the PCs as I do it. But I made a lot of changes to my binder, so now I'm officially collecting three groups and only three groups. Um, the three groups are 17, obviously, from is nine, we've been new, and then twice. I'm actually collecting twice now, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, also this video, that intro was way too long, but it was important. <laughs> so yeah, I really do hope everyone sat through that. Um, I know that was kind of like, I don't want to say annoying, but it was a lot. But anyways, um, so I have um, some placeholders. I have some placeholders here, and I think this is Dahyun's placeholders. Yeah, they are. So we're going to do my placeholders for uh, more and more. And, um, 17's comeback. I don't know how to say 17's comeback, unfortunately, so I'm gonna try my best not to say it. I'm sorry. But once 17 kind of posts how they say their comeback, I will start saying it. <laughs> and so let me grab my binder. So I actually put my, um, non-17, uh, groups together. Oops. So I actually put them all together because um, I don't have a lot for these groups so I felt like it was a waste to have a whole binder and then have it be empty and then have me need feel the need to um, feel the need to collect more groups which I shouldn't do so anyways so let me see if I can fit this in because as you already know my binder is way too big for my desk it's fine I guess okay I think this is the best I can go so, okay. Um, okay. So first and foremost, um, I changed my layout so I made it kind of like into spreads because I saw, sorry, I saw Nana's Dream do it and I really liked how it's her look, how Summer's looks. So, I decided to kind of copy her <laughs> as per usual. But anyways, so first I got this. You make my day PC, and this is the logo back, and it's he looks so good. I love this PC so much. And then I got this one. Now oh, focus. Then I got this one, and this one is the ribbon back. So cute. And then I got this Dawn one. Um, I think this is yeah, this is Dawn. So this is the logo back. Then I got this before dawn um i think this is logo back can't really tell and then i have this one which is before dawn and this is the ribbon back so i am almost done with this one um i actually have this one in a group order isa actually claimed it for me which i thought was really sweet of her um because i was taking a break and so i didn't actually see it so isa claimed it <laughs> So, I'm almost done with 17 our Jihoon's Korean album stuff, finally. Um, and yeah. And then here's my new layout for a node. I gave up my begin PCs because I didn't actually like them. Or I think my real PCs, because I really didn't like them. But, yeah. And then, okay. So, Falling Flower, I actually want to move. However, from placeholders, if you can't tell, I actually was a dumbass. I was actually dumb. And these are all backwards. Um, J, J. 
This is K10 for you. There we go. I decided I'm gonna collect Sukman and Chan for um, Falling Flower. So Sukman goes here. So I still need uh, Jihoon's C and Sukman's C and then his carrot. But um, I'm in a group order for this one. So that's why I haven't bought it yet. So I'm hoping that I get Jihoon from that group order. Then I have Chan. But I completed Chan's set. I'm just waiting for it to come in because we're. Um, I did it through Mercari Japan. And I did it with my group chat. So just waiting for that to come in. And then I'm gonna actually going to move this one though. Because this is, I'm going to leave Korean albums with Jihoon only here. So, yes. And anyway, so let's pull out the new comeback. Okay, down for you. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I forgot. I keep forgetting I put Jihoon stuff in um, pink sleeves because um, Jihoon's color is obviously pink to me. So, yeah. So, for the new comeback. Um, how do I want to organize this? So there's two of each. So what I think... Oh yeah, and then the pre order benefit. So I'm going to put the pre order benefit over here. Put it right in the corner. I'm going to put one... And then... Sorry for my mom just singing. I think I'll do it that way. I don't really know anything. I know I like the today. Um, when I'm recording this, it's actually Hoshi's birthday. And um, they dropped... Um, ow. <laughs> um, when I'm filming this, they dropped Jonghan, Mingyu, June... I think that's it. They're um, teasers, and I want you guys to know, um, Dool, I think. Um, I don't know how to say it, but that's like my favorite concept, 100%. So I, try to, I might try to get a signed album of it, but we'll see. Um, anyways, so that's how I'm going to organize it as of right now. Um, I don't have a lot of... I don't even know what I want to do for those. Um... Okay, since this is falling flower, I think I think I might do this. I'm gonna put this in front. And then falling flower, the purity benefits that these two I will probably will never get. Weverse is a an attempt at one point. And then these are OT13. So I'm going to be doing a spread again. So chol. Jung Han, Shua. I don't know if I should do it like June, like June Hoshi Wanu, Sokman, Mingyu, Minghao, and then the three. I think I might do it that way instead. I don't know, I've never done it that way. I've always done like Hyung Line, Makne Line. Maybe I'll like it more this way. Um, we'll see. So. But also, I put it in age order, not by chant order, just because I like age order. <laughs> Suck one goes here. Thank you. Ming Hao. Suck one. Vernon, and then Chan. So, that is how I'm going to put the Purator Benefits for OT13 because I bought from K-Town. And yeah, so now I just need to put away two PCs. So I have, I am now collecting OT13 for these heart ones. So I have some Kwan. Then I got Suckman's Ideal Cut Carrot at a really good price on Depop. So, I have these two put to put away. Um, 
Actually, okay, so while we're here, I'm going to redo these ones. Because this is actually not in the way anymore. Um, I'm going to redo it like I did for everything else. So you're going to just see me redo my OT13 collection. I put these here because Go One does it, but then I realized that I like forget that it's there, so there's no point. <laughs> so June, Hosh, shoot, and then Wanyu. Okay, so I guess I'll do it that way. Oh, but Jihoon doesn't make sense now. So. That just made my life hard. Where's my way we make you? Okay, so we make you he's here. I have two chons in the way. what I'm going to do and then put Chon the center Okay, I think I'll do it that way. I don't have enough left sleeves, so no. Oh no, I do. Cool. Okay, so I'll do it that way. There we go. Anyways, okay, so this is where something goes. So these ones are all on the way, I think. I don't know about... One of them isn't on the way, but I don't know which one it is. Oh! Go in, sir. There we go. And then Haru. Oh, I need to redo these ones. So. Suckman. Oh gosh, I was holding that one in. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, hi. Um, I needed to cut it just in case. Um, I recently claimed Chan and Jihoon's um, OTP PC, so I'm going to put that there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the clear one for this, and then um, Jihoon's other OTP with Chan, because I Chan's my, one of my biases. Yeah, I think this one makes the most sense. So we're just going to leave this one. Okay. So now I don't have anything else for 17. Oh, no, I do. I do, actually. Oh, yeah. I got this from um, Alyssa. Ghost 2 Trades. And... Oh, look at him. Excuse me. Look at him. He's so cute. There she is. Hold on. I need my phone. Nope, don't know where I found it. Oh, I found it. Okay, and that's texting me. Okay. So, oh yeah, I need to put my troll poster away. So finally finished a note in... Damn it. 
Um, I finally finished an Odes um, album inclusions. So I was collecting my top four for this comeback or for the mini posters. So I finally finished. Yay! Look at it! Oh, it's so pretty. Then I almost finished the posters for Teenage. I just need hip hop units. So that's cool. Okay, so now for Promise 9. Promise. Promise. Okay. So what I decided, I'm going to be collecting Jisun, because Jisun is my bias, and then Jiwon. So, wow! And then Jiwon. And here's the back of this one. I got these all from Instagram, so I'm really happy. It's really weird, because the moment I decided I'm going to collect Jisun, um, I saw a lot of her PCs on sale on Instagram. Like, they just posted it. And it was just, I don't know. It was like such a good coincidence, so I was like, alright, I guess the signs are telling me I really should. <laughs> or maybe it was a test to see if I would actually buy it, and I failed the test because I actually bought it. Here's the back. And then here is... Fun Factory. Okay. So I'm collecting from From9 and moving forward, just because those were the easiest for me right now. So... Is this a message back? So should I do it this way, or should I do it next to each other? I think I like it this way, like that. So because of that, message back goes first. So Jisun obviously goes first. Then her signature, which by the way, her signature is so cute. Like look at it, <laughs> the little heart. Uh, I love from his nines backs. They're so pretty. And then. G1 goes in there. Okay. But that makes this hard. So this is message. So that means that from a sign, this back goes here. So this would go here, I think. And then these two, this would be here. And then here. Cute. So now I just need one more for Jisun, and then I completed Jisun. I'm updated with Jisun, and then I need Jiwons. But yeah. Um, I bought the, or Emma decided to give this to me because she's so nice, but it still hasn't arrived, but we're hoping it'll come soon. Sorry, those fireworks. I don't know why there's so many fireworks. Okay, now for twice. So twice I have to do a lot because I have a lot of placeholders. I also have a lot of PCs. So, what I decided to do was that for pre-order benefits, I'm going to be collecting Magne Line because Magne Line are my biases. And then for albums, I'm going to be collecting Dahyun because I've officially decided that my da that Dahyun is my bias. <laughs> so, I feel like if you're a once, you know the struggle where you can't decide who your bias is. I have struggled between my bias. I literally went from, I think, Dahyun to Cheong to Jio to Jio for a long time, and then Dahyun, then Mina, then Cheong, <laughs> then Tsui, um, and now Dahyun. So I'm going to stick with Dahyun because Dahyun was like my first bias, and then she keeps wrecking me technically whenever I have a new bias. So it, I'm just going to say it's Dahyun and just collect Dahyun. <laughs> so hopefully because of that, I will be able to actually stick to collecting twice. Um, twice is not really a big priority of mine. I'm just going to do it whenever 17 is not busy and I want to collect something. And yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm doing um, eras that I like. So I'm doing Feel Special, um, What is Love, um, More and More, and then Summer Nights. Okay. So What is Love is first. I think these are already all in order. So I want the main PCs always in the right corner or like the left corner and then I want the title track um, name thing because they always do that and then typically they have a second one so the second one will go here and then after that it's free reign I think so I decided to put holding an L here 
Let me actually pull up the wish list because I don't know what my thought mindset was during this time. So I decided that she's gonna be holding an L here. Oh, okay. Then the colorful background or border. So I'm assuming this is just the red outfits in the center. And then bear holding a signature. Or is it diagonal? I think it's supposed to be diagonal here. Yeah, I think diagonal is supposed to be here. And then it's bear holding. And then that's like the signature one. Um, missing two cards, so give me a second. Try to see if I can find it. Real special. More and more. So it's over here. Ah, okay, what is love. And then... It's what is love. So I'm not collecting the pure benefits for what is love just because there's only two and I like to have the three rows sell. So. And the cost in PC will go there. Okay. Yay! So that is the what is love. And then after that is summer nights. So I have some PCs from summer nights. Yes. Um, I actually sold Cheong's of this and I kind of regret it because now I have to buy it again but that's okay I'll probably ask my friend if I can have hers because she has these pre-order benefits and I just I want knock in line <laughs> we'll see um and then this goes here then Dewey and then what I'm gonna do is I already I just wrote their names on here for the pre order benefits just because those ones are really consistent whereas um the album stuff I don't know how often I'm gonna collect twice. I know I'm gonna collect most pre order benefits whenever it comes out because I really like their pre order benefits more than their PCs. So that's why I decided to do it this way. And then two. Okay, so now we have Summer Nights, so pull up Summer Nights real quick. Summer Nights, okay. So, name PC. Summer Nights. Then the title track, which is Dancing Night Away. Then apparently I decided to do the thin border here. What is this? The sparkly border. And the no border, I guess. And then the signature on the bottom here in the corner. The Twice logo. And the Far Away border. Oh, okay, so these all have borders. These ones, okay. I see what I did. logo, signature, far away, name. Which one has no border? <laughs> That's the thin border. Sparkly. Where's the no border? I think I meant to do that one. Here, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's fine. When I get them, I'll figure it out. But anyways, so, oof, sorry. So for Feel Special, these are more and more. Feel Special, I have Dahyun. Actually, Dahyun. And 
There we go. Pretty. And then, so we're doing feel special now. So I actually already bought one PC for dot hand because I couldn't resist. <laughs> so, funsies. Okay, so that goes there. So, name. Holding a silver flower. Holding a gold one. Oh, I know. Signature. I'm assuming it's a gold one, actually. And then holding a crystal. Her white name. I'm sorry if you just hear my mom singing. Um, gold border. Oh, that's the gold border. I see. Okay. Sparkly border. Black border. And then I guess another black border, which I'm assuming is that one. Maybe. Okay. There we go. And then, last... Oh, no. So I need to do more and more pre-order runs. So for these ones, I knew I was going to collect, so I already made ones beforehand, but... Yeah. So, with this. Then, Zooey. I'm going to do it this way, and then... I think I'm going to do it that way. And then... I don't know what version these are, but I know I need Chase, so I'm just gonna... I think this is B, actually. I think this one's B. C. A, maybe, if I'm wrong. That's fine. And then, more and more. Yeah, they did a different type of photo card type for more and more, so kind of had to guess what to do. But borderless red outfit selfie card goes here. Then the borderless yellow one. Ah. Her signature, really. I would think her signature would go here. Then her thin border. Then gold border. Then the white border. The red border. The black border. Hmm. I'm going to do it this way, and then once I get all the PCs, then I'll rearrange it. Yeah, I should do this. Ah, please go in. And, yeah, so, that is... Everything, so I'm gonna be collecting twice. I think I'm gonna prioritize um, Feel Special right now just because I really like those PCs. But, um, yeah. So that is it for this video. Hello everyone, so welcome back to, or, fuck. Hello everyone, so um, I know I already ended the video, but while I was editing, I actually got these in the mail and then I needed to take a picture for trades. So I thought that I would um, just do it all together right now and also um i had forgotten that i actually asked on my instagram for questions because i didn't know what to talk about which 
throughout my video, I kind of didn't know what to talk about either, so I'm going to be answering those questions now, because I feel bad that I kind of forgot. Um, so, I'm going to pull that up, and also, um, I think I have decided to collect all four versions of um, the Seventeen's new album. I'm going to be collecting a set for each album. And, but sorry about that, my camera cut. But I decided I'm going to be collecting a set for each album. And for net version, I'm going to, or, ne, for net version, um, I'm going to be, or the fourth version, I'm going to be collecting the, um, what is it called? The collage. So yeah. So let me attempt to grab all the questions right now. And then we can begin. So first off, let me show off what I got. I got the We Make You um, trading card set. So here's the back. And this one's my favorite. He's so cute. And then I got this one. So I got the set. It was from one of my favorite group orders, which I will leave them down below. And this one's so pretty. I love these backs. Got this one. Cute. And then this one. <laughs> Wanu by Jihoon. Um, but yeah, and then I already showed these ones. And yeah, so let's just put these away. And then I will pull that out so I can make a whole set and stuff. Okay. So the first question I got, and it said, Hi, Bay. I was wondering how you got into collecting slash trading. Uh, collecting PCs slash trading. So, um, <clears throat> I actually got into trading because, um, so, like, before I used to watch a lot of study videos and a lot of, like, K-pop type videos, and, um, I don't know why I never really thought of it being, like, oh, people collect the inclusions that you get with K-pop, because it took me a year after I got into K-pop to really start collecting, so I started, oh, no, two years, I think. It might have been two years. Um, so it took me... Oh, this goes here. Um, it took me a little bit to get into it, um, but it was because I believe Nana Streams popped up in my recommendation one day, and then I realized that people collect, and so because of that, I started from Nana Streams. I looked up non, uh, Seventeen Collections, and Na Nancy came up. If you guys know who she is, I feel like if you're a carrot, you should know who she is. But Na Nancy popped up, and so. Um, because of that, I kind of realized people actually collect these stuff, and then I started watching more collection videos, and I think From Is 17 was the next one that I found, and then Trade Petals. So it was really based on, like, me just finding these, um, YouTubers who did it, and then I was like, wow, I really love collecting, because I've always been a collector since I was a kid. Like, when I was a kid, I used to collect, um, I used to collect leaves, rocks, quarters, stamps and a few others so it just made sense for me to get into collecting and yeah I guess so basically I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and then I kind of got hooked um this is no and then this is the pre-order okay so let me grab some pages and then um a person asked what groups you wish you could collect but don't um, I actually really want to collect, um, BTS. I feel like BTS is kind of a common one that I want to collect because, um, I do alt BTS. However, because of the prices and the fact that I am very whipped for 17, I literally can't. Um, and I think another group would be Eyes One. Um, I recently tried to collect, um, Woyoung, who is my bias in Eyes One. But because I decided to collect um, OT13 for this comeback, I will not be collecting Eyes One, Woyoung, so yeah. So I guess that would have to be the one, but BTS for sure is like up there. Like I would love to collect BTS, but they're really expensive and ARMY is like, and they also release a lot of stuff. Like, I never really realized how much BTS released until I saw it, because I would want to collect all of BTS. 
um, like literally like most of the tour PCs and all that stuff, but they're just really expensive. Um, I am missing members. I'm missing two members. Um, and yeah. And then another question is, do you have a fancy setup, fancy binder setup or anything? Um, I don't really know what that like meant, but if you meant like this kind of setup, um, I do spreads for OT13, and then I typically do spreads for, um, PCs that I like. I will pull out the other two, because I think they're, oh, I see them. Okay, hold on. Um, but if you meant filming, I literally just have it on a tripod connected to my desk. It's not like a big thing. But I like to do spreads now, um, because I like how full it looks, and it, like, it's just more satisfying in my opinion. But that's what you meant. If you meant my filming, then filming, um, I literally just have my camera pointed down to my desk, and yeah. <laughs> um, and then, I'm starting uni in the fall, but it's going to be online. Do you have any tips to stay motivated? Um, so I actually wanted to start doing this on my YouTube channel, but I did a lot. I like, um, watched a lot of study with me videos, and so while they're studying, I was studying, and it also helps that I like asked my friends a lot to like FaceTime me or Skype me while we all did homework so we can all like make sure we're all on, t all on task and that I had a support system and that I kind of felt like I was in a classroom during that. Um, I know what I'm going to be trying to do because I did <laughs> slack off a lot this semester. Um, I kind of, my friends pretend that they have school so let's say um, they have like, what they do is that they'll um, assign times to classes that they would, um, they would assign, like, certain time periods, or, like, the time, like, what time they would take these classes if we were to be, like, on, like, on campus, and then they'll, like, try to get ready, so, like, every morning they'll, like, take a shower, or do their morning routine, put, put my makeup on, change into real clothes, so on and so forth, and then they'll go to their desk, and then they would only leave their desk for eating or switching places, and when I say switching places, I mean, let's say, um, you finish one subject and you're done and you, like, want to take a break. So you take, obviously, like, maybe an hour break because I know college courses, they tend to have, like, longer breaks. So you take an hour break, you know, go on your bed, chillax, or, like, maybe, um, go eat and stuff. I don't suggest going on your bed, actually, because I feel like that would ensue laziness or, like, make you lazier. But, um... Maybe, like, go eat, take a snack, do workout, do something, and then move locations, and then do another subject. So I feel like that would be really helpful. My friends actually told me to do that because I literally am the most unmotivated person ever. Um, and yeah. And then I'm also planning on doing study videos on my channel because I feel like that would be um, very effective for, like, everyone <laughs> if I do so. So... Um, if you're very motivated by people like I am, um, maybe I can help out when I start uploading study videos and stuff. So, yeah, so that's kind of my intake on it. It was a really hard semester for me because, um, I don't really, whenever I do online, it's with, like, friends. And then, like, also, um, I tend to, uh kind of take on real life classes just so I can stay on task with online classes so it was really hard a transition but maybe those can help um hopefully they do please let me know if they do <laughs> like go in my mentions and like let me know but yeah so those are my tips for that um uh da -da 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 -da. I know I have a few more questions like I have one more question I think yes I do so, someone asked me, what's it like collecting in college? Does your roommate say I do? Um, so, I actually um, live with my parents because I commute to my school. Um, and I th I'm transferring soon to a four-year and I might dorm, maybe. I don't know. But um, I'm very open about my interest and my K-pop interest specifically with collecting, too. So, I don't think... <laughs> My roommate would side-eye me, per se. I think... I don't think anyone really cares when it comes to college, or maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> but I feel like no one would really, um, 
see it as anything. Maybe they'll just think you're kind of like, like, oh, you're like collecting K-pop or something. Like, I don't know. I personally don't care, so um, I'm not really helpful with tips for this. Um, but I will say that a lot of my friends know about me collecting K-pop and they don't really care. Um, they say that as long as it makes you happy, then do what you want. So I feel like a roommate would also say the same, or maybe like they'll tease you about it, but I don't think it would be harmful teasing. It's just more like, wow, you should probably like, you know, I don't know, college stuff. <laughs> but I personally will tell you if your college or if your roommate does side eye you, just remember that if you're collecting to make yourself happy, and it's kind of like, um, if you're collecting to make yourself happy, then keep collecting. Don't let someone else tell you what you can and can't do based on, like, their interests. Because in the end of the day, if you think about it, this majority of the time with collecting, it's just retail therapy. And so, this is kind of your therapy, your mechanism to, like, bring happiness in your life. I almost said serotonin. But <laughs> this is kind of, like, your way of making yourself happy, making yourself kind of sane, especially with how stressful college is and all that stuff. And so, um, I think it's just really important to kind of just remember that, especially if someone was were to make fun of you, so let's say, or like, let's say your college roommate does side eye you for like collecting so much and constantly doing stuff. Just remember that they probably have their own coping mechanism when it comes to like stress and like some way to give themselves some type of sanity and like whatever and like this is just yours and that you should keep going if it's like if it makes you happy basically um i guess if you do really have an issue with your roommates i guess talk to them about it and tell them like hey fuck off you know <laughs> okay maybe not <laughs> sorry i just maybe not exactly the words that i use i know i would have just because i'm a very like assertive person or like confrontational person so I know if someone were to try to tell me like oh you should knock it off I'd probably be like hey you should fuck off you know like mind your business but <laughs> maybe do it in a nicer tone and explain to them that like hey this makes me really happy I don't appreciate your comments and um if they don't knock it off then you know ignore them honestly or like in the end of the day what you also can do is just tell them like hey you're probably out like buying shit or like you know partying or like I don't know what college people do shit I don't know all of my friends are like really like bookworms and like school focused and so I don't really know what college people do um so I can't help you in the sense of like another mindset of what a person could be doing but honestly <laughs> bottom line of this whole disgusting rant that I'm attempting to say it's just keep collecting if it makes you happy, if it brings you happiness, if it keeps you sane, if it gives you some type of retail therapy. Keep collecting and just ignore your roommates if they're like, oh, you collect K-pop? What the fuck? Um, I think the only problem you would probably have when collecting in college is just the limited space that you have because you would be collecting multiple albums you know what i mean like you wouldn't know where to put them so i would suggest bringing albums that you care about like that you like love and that you would listen to maybe or like you would go through a lot or something of that sort but yeah um <laughs> i wish i can provide you more information on that or like more tips on that but i personally don't dorm and i don't think i will dorm just because it's a little costy but um, I know they make it requ uh, like a requirement for freshmen, though, so I don't think many of you have a choice if you're a freshman. But I personally don't dorm, so I can't really give any insight on that one. Um, besides, fuck the system, you know, <laughs> fuck that was over. Um, I can't give you any insight besides, like, you know, fuck your roommates if they're, like, rude as shit, you know? I don't know. <laughs> so, but, yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if anything, you could just hide it, to be honest. I feel like binders are pretty easy to hide. You can just be like, oh yeah, that's my serotonin binder. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, I don't know. I, really, I really don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this shouldn't be funny. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the questions. Um, if you guys want to leave questions, I will um, insert my username on the screen um, in the description. Please, please, please um, sign petitions, speak out. Uh, email your government officials, donate if you can, um, 
stream people who are sending or like donating all of their proceeds to um, bail funds and stuff and donations if you can't donate and yeah just stay updated on all the stuff if you're protesting remember cover every single uh, anything that could be identifiable from you so like your face your tattoos your like uh your hair whatever so on and so forth um stay safe out there remember to social distance still we're it's not a still we are still in a pandemic regardless of the fact that everything is opening so remember to constantly wash your hands bring hand sanitizer alcohol whenever you're going Whenever you're out and you're like, you know, out and about, having a fun time, remember to change your clothes and like disinfect as often as you as you can. And yeah, I think that is everything I could possibly say. Um, please check out my description. I am encouraging you in every way that I can. I made it really easy for you guys. You guys just need to take the first step. And yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant. I'm really sorry that a lot of the questions were not cohesive answers and it was just me kind of talking out of my ass because um, I don't really prep a lot for my stuff like this. So I'm really sorry if you didn't get anything of it, but I hope you found it funny at least. And yeah, um, I will see you guys next week. Bye! Also, if you're interested in study videos, you should probably let me know because like I want to do study videos. I'm planning on updating Jesus Christ. That was my dad. Sorry. Um, I'm planning on kind of doing different videos on my YouTube channel, but I will still have a dedicated K-pop day, which I think will be Wednesdays. So yeah, I will update you guys on my Instagram about that if I decide to do it. And yeah, God damn it, my dad. Okay, maybe it's a good time to end it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.